All right, I'm about to show you how to connect your loop deck to your OBS, okay? So first thing we want to do is head over to the loop deck web page. Then we're going to scroll all the way down and we're we're looking for a WebSocket plugin. So we scroll all the way down to set up your software, OBS Studio. You want to download your OBS socket. I already did it. So after you do that, we are actually going to come over here to OBS. Ooh, it's getting a little trippy for you guys, I know. So just deal with me really quickly. You're going to see your, after you download it and install it, you're going to see your OBS socket, your web socket in tools, under tools, and then you'll know that it's there. And so right now you don't have to do anything else because the loop deck is connected. So and turn that off. And then we're going to look directly at our loop deck. All right, so what you want to do is come down here on press actions and you can't really see my um, mouse, unfortunately, but oh, there it is. That was so weird. So I came down to scenes. You can do scene collections or whatever. I came down to the scenes and then I'm going to put N Twitch right in there. So I'm purposely going to put it next to my transition button because when I'm in studio mode, I will click on it. I will click on my scene and then I have to transition to make it live. So I'm going to show you what that looks like in a second here. So let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. Let's turn on our display capture. So work with me really quickly. So in our loop deck, you can see there's something that says studio mode. So I can either click studio mode from here or I can directly um, click it on OBS, which is kind of where my camera is right now. So if I turn that off, studio mode is right under that way. So I'm going to click studio mode because it's actually like really important to have both of these screens up. And then we see our transition button, but our transition button is also available right here. So I don't have to really utilize the buttons in OBS. I can do it all on my loop deck. So this is what happens. So you're going to see what happens when I am transitioning. So I'm going to press studio mode and then I'm going to hit my end twitch scene. And then we haven't seen it do anything yet. But as soon as I hit transition on my loop deck, then you're only going to see my end twitch screen, right? So. I'm going to actually go back to um, my Twitch scene over here, and then I'm going to hit transition again. And so now you'll be able to see it all over again. So that is why it's so important to be in studio mode so you can utilize your scenes and your transitions and you don't have to fumble back toward OBS to use them. So that is how you connect your loop deck live to your obs and then you can play around with it add more things i have like a just cam scene that i can automatically switch to when something dramatic happens and it zooms in on my face so i hope this was really really helpful and i want to thank you guys for watching let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions or anything like that i'm going to continue to play around and enjoy my loop deck as i have been so until next time game safely